Computer Day. This uh, short video is about charging on 110 volt. I've done a couple of these in extreme cold weather and found that at least in my garage, which is semi-insulated but certainly not heated, it, uh, it actually works pretty well. And uh, I've had a debate with a few people that have Teslas about this saying, oh, it doesn't work, you gotta get uh, 220. And by the way, yes, I will almost certainly get 220 put in. The question is, do you really need to? And I don't think you really need to. But instead of guessing, let's just take a look at it. So I had this charged this morning uh, up to my limit, which is, I think, about 350 or so. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, Tesla suggests and, well, most battery people suggest that you do not charge your battery beyond about 80% consistently that is that you don't consistently charge uh, char give it a full charge because you end up with effectively uh, like stalactites in your battery and that'll puncture the cells and you can have a fire and you think well nobody told me about that no don't worry about it this is on thousands and thousands and thousands of recharges it's nothing you need to be particularly worried about but just good battery hygiene says don't charge it the whole way so that's what that's about anyway the bottom line is I've driven mine about 75k, something like that today. So let's charge it up using my 110 volt charger and see how long it takes and how reasonable it is to actually do this. So let's go. First thing you've got to do is pop the charge port. By the way, there's a little uh, uh, back door with this and pardon the pun with back door. But listen, you can click here. Open butthole. Yes, that's a little Easter egg that Tesla's put in, so you can see that the charge port open. Okay, let's go. I've got my 110 volt charger there, and I'm going to plug it in right there. It is now charging. All right, so let's go back to the car. And it suggests it's going to take about uh, seven hours to charge. Let's find out how long it actually takes. So it's been a few minutes. I was talking to my neighbor. Let's see what it thinks it is now. Wow. It's got longer, seven and a half. Eight. Well, that's probably because I opened the door and that chews up some battery, but it's charging at about six kilometers an hour. All right, so this finished up at 8 p.m. my time, uh, and that's uh, then, what, seven and a half hours from 12.30 to 8 p.m. That's about 9.3 kilometers per hour of charging on a lowly 120 volt charger with, as you can see, temperatures up here being about 20 degrees Celsius. Which... So let's do the math. If you park your car from, say, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., pretty standard for most people, uh, that means you'd get uh, 12 hours of charging. And 12 hours of charging at 9.3 kilometers per hour is about 108 kilometers, which is 65 miles. So let's round that down to 100 kilometers or 60 miles on an overnight charge during summer weather conditions. So for most people, that easily covers their commute. In my case, I used to charge up at work, so I could charge up at both ends, so it didn't make any difference to me. Bottom line is, sure, the 220 uh, uh, volt charger at home level two charger, definitely the way to go if this is a, a long term thing for you. But if you're just into a place for a short period of time, you know, six months or a year, and maybe you don't want to invest in uh, the charger, yeah, I think you don't have to. Now, one of the things people forget about when they talk about chargers is look, you can get one installed for probably about a thousand dollars Canadian, somewhere around that, uh, you know, maybe it's twelve or thirteen hundred dollars for you depending on how your house is laid out and you know the price of the charger you, you source if you don't use the charger that comes with your vehicle maybe it's seven eight hundred dollars uh, depending on again what you've got so it's somewhere in that range but what uh, people think uh, when they talk about this is some sort of sunk cost like changing your oil or you know changing your windshield but that's not the case that actually adds value to your house in the future it won't because everybody will have these in their garage but right now having a having a uh, charger and having the ability to put a charger in the garage that actually adds value. 
Now, is it going to add $5,000 to the value of your house? Clearly not. But if you put $1,000 worth of investment into your garage for your charger, let's say you get half of it out. Totally worthwhile. Completely worthwhile. Uh, you know, you figure that you're saving, oh my God, it, uh, in, t in today's prices for gas, you're saving, uh, you know, anywhere between, what, 70 and $100 Canadian on gas a week for a normal consumer. And uh, yeah, that'll pay for itself very, 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 very quickly. We'd really appreciate it if you'd click like on this video. And if this is the type of thing you, you uh, that you like in general, please click subscribe as we do a lot of this kind of stuff. If you have any questions or comments, just put them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you usually within a day or so. Alternately, you can always get a hold of us at www.partisanissues.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.